When Michelle Obama said that education is the single most important civil rights issue that we face today, she wasn't being hyperbolic. In 2012, a report from the U.S. Department of Education showed a decline in arts education programs for students in low-income communities, so steep that then U.S. Education Secretary Arne Duncan called this gap an equity and civil rights issue. There are strong reasons to suspect that engagement in arts education can improve school climate, empower students with a sense of purpose and ownership, and enhance mutual respect for their teachers and peers. In fact, Study after study has found that arts training increases attention and brain cognition. The solution is clear. Invest in arts education. To get a better understanding of how arts education impacts community, let's take a look at the SBI College and Career Preparatory Institute's after-school performing arts program at Randolph. Since 1991, has gone through an evolution, so what we were in the beginning is totally different from what we are now. Um, we've really evolved. When we first came into Randolph, it was a program aimed at helping um, inform young people of color in public high schools about non-performance careers in the entertainment industry. We started doing the performance piece around the time of the Million Man March and we organized a hundred brothers. And we decided that this hundred brothers would become a step team. The girls in the school protested the fact that there was a boy step team. There was no regard for the females in the school that were the majority in the school. That resulted in a girl's step team called Sisters Only. And everything started with um, at the end of the year, a performance by these two teams in the school auditorium before 150, 200 people. One of the girls on the step team said, we would like to form a group to do urban dance and do it with the step team. And then we decided, well, let's just create an ensemble. You come up with the idea, let's see what it looks like. Um, that resulted in the Urban Dance Squad. It was the opportunity to do this in a school that didn't have arts. Because A. Philip Randolph, like most high schools, you are focusing on certain things. A. Philip Randolph was academics. It was um, engineering program. It was a health, health careers program. And um, at that time, it was a business program, and it later became the humanities program. But there's no budget for arts programs in public high schools, so. This program is the key that turns the lock, that opens and the door. it's creating opportunities for young people of color, not only to uh, get the information about college, but to prepare their college essays, to develop their persona, to uh, imagine what's possible, to take college visits, to get SAT prep. And then on top of that, they're participating in the performing arts program. Those who are interested in being on stage rehearse every day with professional choreographers that we bring in. Those who are interested in the, in the technical theater arts aspect, who want to be running the show, they're studying lighting, they're studying sound, projection, house management, stage management, and these are the real transferable skills that uh, you know students can leave here and get a job while in college. My name is Danny, Ram Danny. I am a graduate of the CCPI and A. Philip Randolph uh, community. I think it was my sophomore year where I was helping out with the tech crew and I was really interested in like the behind the scenes aspects of everything. And so I went through the program and I was actually able to become like one of the captains of the lighting team. And we put on huge, spectacular shows. And each person have their, has their own role. Each person has, you know, their own strength, their own weaknesses. But with their own weaknesses, you know, you always have someone that knows their strengths and will help you build and help you, you know, succeed in what like what kind of skill that is. 
So as a family, you know, I feel that each each member in the tech group, including myself, um, you know, they're always there for each other, especially during the shows when it's the most stressful time. They've got each other's back. They don't let one fall and just let it happen, you know. CPI since September of 2019, um, but I used to be a part of CCPI all four years of high school. Honestly, that was like my motivation to come to school. It was very, like, I really, like, loved CCPI when I was a kid because I've always loved to dance. I also was very interested in college, and I was, like, the first that was the first program that really introduced college to me and really like spoke about it and gave me information I needed. No other place was really talking about it. Teachers weren't even really talking about it, but like I knew when I came in that environment that it could be talked about and I would get answers. And it was like its own group and community, you know, like it felt good to have like a little family. Being a student there, and when I first joined, um, I kind of wanted to go and leave to like go to perform my art school, being that you know dance is my background. But when I came in, to, um, came into contact with uh, Charles Thompson, who persuaded me and um, convinced me to stay and like you know build leadership at April and Randolph. So I started off, um, you know, dancing on the West Indian team, and then slowly doing like you know contemporary and ballet solos there. And then that's where I really got my um, my taste for choreography and just leading a group. My first year students kind of you know knew me from coming back and performing, but once I like started a group with like you know you know classical music and training and you know it kind of threw everyone for a loop. But it was it was a good experience because I had like a group of kids who were weren't afraid to jump in and you know try something different has been able to really like create a dedicated space for people to have for young people to have like access to things that are meaningful and impactful representing the gap between what they thought they wanted to be and what they really want to be cpi's after school performing arts program at randolph contributes to the creation of a learning environment where students develop transferable skills through their engagement in dance music, drama, spoken word, and technical theater. CCPI's After School Performing Arts program is a hidden gem inside the castle.